Happy time zones, Crafty here with another episode of Lost Palmer City Skylines, the Greens DLC. Um, so as we left off last time, we had a little bit of money left. We've had a pretty big fire since I was here last. That's a little bit scary. Um, now our demand seems to be doing okay. Residentials are a little bit up and so is the commercial. So I think we'll keep working on our little area down here of Bower and we'll add some more little streets and zoning in here I think to start off with. Just some little streets I think for this little this little section here. It will just, you know, um, this way. up some of this space. Something like that to go right across like so. And then into here like that. So let's actually electricity will be fine. Water is all covered. So let's do some zoning here. Um, get these little bits zoned in first uh, near the power. A bit of commercial as well, though. Saying there's a bit of demand for it, so we might go commercial over this way. And we might put in some higher density um, residential here. So that will help take care of that. This one needs some parts. So let's have a look at what we've got to choose from. This one looks rather, rather cute. There we go. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm actually doing quite well. Uh, it's, you know, coming up and doing things. It's, you know, week 10 of the year. So we're, you know, the year's going by rather quickly. Um, which, is, which is good. So we're just going to let this run through for a little while and see if. See if we can just get this to speed up a little bit and do what we need to do. Can't park it, it's a bit silly crafty. Put one of these in down. These are, this one takes in quite a big improvement area, so that will be helpful. So we might put another one over this way as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Again. So, it's, um, so today's Monday, yesterday was March 4 and we um, I took my boy, my, my school leader, to um, participate in a Clean Up Australia Day. Um, Clean Up Australia Day first came about in 1989, 90, I want to say. Um, it was um, introduced by Ian Keenan, I think his name was. Um, and slowly but surely more and more people coming along. We spent a couple of hours, we spent a couple of hours cleaning up the streets of our local town. The um, school leaders and the student rep council, well, some of them got involved and, and helped out a little bit. And then our local um, councillor actually gave them all 
morning tea at the local cafe, so that was that was a nice reward. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of you know trying to clean up the area that we live in. They dedicate one day a year to do that, just to bring it to a focal point. I think it's more like getting the community together to do stuff. Um, and take a little care with what they do. So let's just put a couple of schools in down here while we're while I'm talking about what we did yesterday. Um, so as you guys may or may not be aware, I do have a Discord. Um, I also have Twitter and Instagram all under Crafty Minor Girl. Um, so you can find the links there to to come and follow me and find out bits and pieces of what I get up to. I don't have the most exciting life, but I'm happy enough with it if that makes sense. So let's put in another high school. I think we need, need some more education in this town. Um, the space is already occupied. Right, let's put you there. That should help because you know we've got 20. We're, we're, we're about half capacity of where we need to be, so I think we need to add some more, some more in just to take this load and bring it back to kilter. Because um, yeah, there's quite a big difference in. Okay, now we're out of money. We need to wait some more money to come. So it was mainly also to, um, when it was first brought in, to protect the waterways. In, you know, that was the focal point. Um, it's a simple and easy action to protect, you know, the water resources. And it's not an individual thing. It really does need to be a community-based thing, um, which is really, really important. And it stems through then to living greener and doing all those sort of things that are good for the environment and those sorts of things, you know, it's... So things that I've done over the past 12 months to improve my family's family's impact on the environment and things, I've actually um, got my kids walking to and from school now, um, yes except in inclement weather or really super hot days I'm not going to make them walk you know, in the searing 45 plus degrees Celsius days, um, but I package less. I package a lot less, I don't use as much um, packaging when I'm doing stuff. I found that to be a rather important change, so I use reusable containers where I can. Um, also, um, why don't you go through there, you want to be in the patootie. that power down to yeah so it was that sort of thing you know um, I say no to junk mail I don't need advertisements being delivered to my letterbox you know I um, take my own re reusable bags when I go grocery shopping I take um, I still I bottled water because I can't drink our town water. I am looking at buying, getting some finance to actually get my own home filtration system. I just want to look at this a little bit. It's just a little bit wonky. Um, my own filtration system at home, just so I don't have to buy bottled water anymore. It's just a case of having the money to, to make that difference and that change which is something I'm hoping to have done by the middle of the year. I see something else over here without power. Why do you not have power? Um, so that's that's 
my next goal for this year is to make sure that that happens. And you're across there for the moment just so you've got some power. Um, are you zoned around there? No, you're not. That's probably half the issue. Right, let's get some zoning in here so we can keep things moving and ticking along. Um, so yeah, that's, so that's my personal environmental goal for this year is to get away from the bottom of the water and onto our own filtration system. Um, as a family of five, so there's well, basically five adults now, my children will eat like adults. So I try to buy in bulk so I don't have as much packaging to deal with either. Yeah, sewerage. It's actually probably a really good point. Why is that water looking like that? Let's have a look at here. No, not that one. Let's try this one. Look at our pollution. How oh, nice is the colour of the water? Because I think our sewerage is up here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, in here. There's no storage in there, they're all keeping it all nice and clean, but what's going on here? What is your problem? Multiple problems, right? Are you going to tell us? Garbage pile up and... Okay, so the ferries aren't connected to the... Depot, really? Are you sure about that?
there we go. Sorry for that moment of um, concentration. We need to change this colour though. Yes, yeah, that's looking good. I think you need to have seven lights. Have a look at you. So yeah, it's um good. Right, so what else do I do? Getting back to living that little bit greener. Um, I use rechargeable batteries for my kids' Xboxes and all those sorts of things. Um, just because I find it's, it is cheaper, but it's better for the environment as well. Now this rubbish is a problem. What's going on with our rubbish? It's in the green. Oh, because you've got no road. That would be why. Truck can't get there if there's no road to get there from. Um, so we're going to have to upset one of these houses. a restaurant isn't it yes so that should now fix that I think there we go I believe that should now fix that that issue there what other issues can we have a quick look at be connected to the lines but it is connected I don't understand why it's not connected
beautiful. A little bit congestion as I get out because this was only. I don't understand it. It is connected to the lines. I don't understand. what it is we, you know we try to do our best I try to live as green as I possibly can it's not easy but it's a mission so until next time I'm gonna say hooroo